We want to get back to the story that we were telling you about at the top of the newscast, the teacher that is accused of punishing her students uh, for being rowdy during a fire drill. That's really what this all breaks down to, asking them to make signs that read, I want to die in a fire, and then marching them around the school. Let's get out to Not On Your Side, Simone Del Rosario, for more on that. And you can all humiliating. That's how a little girl in tears describes her sixth grade teacher's punishment after a fire drill. I cried when I got cold. I know. I felt so embarrassed and stuff. Everybody was just laughing at us. She says some kids had been acting up during the fire drill. So when they got back to class, her social studies teacher told them to make these signs saying, I want to die in a fire. Then she says all the kids had to parade around the school holding them over their heads. When you say that out loud, <laughs> it hurts to see your child. Um, when I say it out loud, <laughs> it's not right. Sarah's mother first called the principal, but she didn't think enough would be done. So she called us and we got straight to the assistant superintendent. Obviously, anytime students are in a position where they are not respected or their dignity is at risk, is something that is intolerable. He tells me they are investigating the teacher, but won't tell us anymore. Sarah says she doesn't even want to go back to the school after what happened. Sarah, can you tell me what this felt like? It made me feel embarrassed. And now Sarah waits to see if the school will do anything about what happened at Alice Vail Middle School. We're told TUSD takes allegations like this very seriously and that they'll be talking to all the kids in the class and the parents. We'll stay on it. Simone Del Rosario, Kega 9 on your side. Simone, thank you.